in this lecture we'll study the 10th property of jet transform that is initial value theorem this theorem states that if x of n is equal to 0 for n less than 0 that is nothing but x of n is causal signal then then limit n tends to 0 x of n is equal to x of 0 which is also equal to limit z tends to infinity x of z. Let's prove this property. We know that z transform of any discrete signal x of n is given by x of z which is equal to summation n varies from minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n so here we know that x of n we have assumed it as a causal signal therefore as x of n is causal signal Therefore, we can write x of z is equal to summation n varies from 0 to infinity as its value is 0 for n less than 0. Therefore, I will start from 0. n is equal to 0 to infinity. x of n z power minus n. In this summation, we can get for n equal to 0, we can represent it as x of 0 z power minus 0 plus for n equal to 1, it will be x of 1, z power minus 1, plus for n equal to 2, it will be x of 2, z power minus 2, plus and so on. Now take limit z tends to infinity on both sides. of above equation limit z tends to infinity x of z which is on lhs is equal to if you take z tends to infinity on rhs we will get for the first term it will be x of 0 plus for the second term here it will be 1 upon z z tends to infinity means it will be 0 so rest all terms will be 0 so therefore we can write limit n tends to 0 x of n is equal to x of 0 which is equal to this x of 0 is nothing but limit z tends to infinity x of z thus this property is proved now consider the 11th property of z transform that is final value theorem This theorem states that for causal signal if z transform of signal x of n is say x of z and if x of z has no poles outside the unit circle and it has no double or higher order poles 
on the unit circle at the origin of the z plane then limit n tends to infinity x of n is equal to x of infinity which is equal to limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 x of z let's prove this property we assumed that x of n is causal signal let x of n is causal signal that is z transform of x of n is equal to x of z which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z power minus n we will call it as equation number 1 we know that z transform of advanced time that is x of n plus 1 considering initial conditions is given by z x of z minus z x of 0 summation n equal to 0 to infinity here the input signal is x of n plus 1 that is x of n plus 1 z power minus n we'll call it as equation number 2 now subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 is given by that is z transform of x of n plus 1 minus z transform of x of n that is equation 2 minus equation 1 is equal to z x of z minus x of 0 z x of 0 minus x of z is equal to So in now in terms of summation that is summation n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n plus 1 z power minus n minus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z power minus n. So th now between these two expressions i can take x of z common i can represent it as z minus 1 x of z minus z x of 0 which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n plus 1 minus x of n z power minus n here i have taken summation and z power minus n as common so it is x of n plus 1 minus x of n z minus 1 x of z minus z x of 0 is equal to now i will expand this summation by expanding this summation and substitute n equal to 0 1 2 3 values in place of n that is 
by substituting n equal to 0, I will get x of 0 plus 1 is 1 minus x of 0 z power minus 0 plus now by substituting n equal to 1 that is x of 2 minus x of 1 this will be z power minus 1 plus by substituting n equal to 2 that is x of 3 minus x of 2 z power minus 2 plus and so on. Now taking limit z tends to 1 on both sides of above equation that is on left hand side we have limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 x of z minus z x of 0 is equal to here the first term is x of 1 we have minus x of 0 z power 0 is 1 plus here x of 2 that is x of 2 minus we have x of 1 for z tends to 1 means it is nothing but 1 plus x of 3 minus x of 2 z tends to 1 means its value is 1 plus this will be continued till we get x of infinity minus x of infinity minus 1 x of 1 and x of 1 will get cancelled x of 2 and x of 2 will get cancelled likewise all the terms will get cancelled the remaining term is here we have x of infinity minus x of infinity minus 1 is nothing but x of infinity itself for the remaining term is x of infinity minus x of 0 so here on LHS if we consider z tends to 1 it will become minus x of 0 as z is equal to 1 so now I can simplify further this as limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 x of z is equal to here we have x of infinity minus x of 0 I will take this x of 0 on right side plus x of 0 so here x of 0 and x of 0 will get cancelled therefore we can write limit n tends to infinity x of n is equal to x of infinity which is equal to limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 x of z thus final value theorem is proved thank you for watching